know I think they like me. Yo, am I white? No, 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 baby, so so much don't be some vice. Hey guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is truncate sentence in this question we're given a string s which contains a list of words that are separated by a single space each word consists of only lowercase or uppercase english letters there will be no punctuations inside the word our task is to truncate string s such that it contains only first k words and we have to return the string after truncating it. So we are given the input s and also we are given an integer k representing the number of words that should be present in the result starting from the beginning. In this question the string s contains 5 words and we have to print the first 4 words. These are the first 4 words which has been displayed as the output and each word is separated by a single space. In this question there are 7 words and we have to print the first 4 words. These are the first four words and each word is separated by a single space. Now let's take a look at the steps we need to follow to solve this question. Let's start off by creating a variable called length which will store the length of the string s. The length of the string s is 5 for this example. The second step is to create a string array called words by using the split method on the input string s. So this is the input string s and we have to create an array of this string s where we separate each word with a space and the array contains only the words without the spaces. So we are creating a string array called words which is initially empty and using the split method on the string s gives us this array. So this is what the words array will contain. It contains the 5 words present in the string. S. Now let's declare a string builder sb which will store the result. Note that you have to return a string s as the output. So first let's store that result in a string builder and then you can convert it into a string before returning it. So I created a string builder which is initially empty. Now we have to create an integer variable called index which is initially 0. So index is now equal to 0. So this index variable we are going to use inside the words array to access each word present inside the string. Now the fifth step is to use a while loop which will run for k number of times which means that until k becomes 0 this while loop will run and inside each iteration we have to append one word at a time present inside the words array into the string builder and also append a space whenever you are appending a word so that you get a space inside the result like this. First we'll access this word and store it inside the result by appending it and we also append a space so this is what the string builder will contain after the first iteration before starting the next iteration for the while loop increment the index by one so that it will point at the next word so that we can access that and append it inside the string builder now index is pointing here so access that word and append it inside the string builder and whenever you are appending a new word append a space now index will be pointing here access that word and append it inside the string builder and add a space next iteration index will be here append it inside the string builder and add a space now for the next iteration k will be equal to 0 because k was initially 4 3 2 1 and for the next word k will become 0 so this while loop will run only till a point where k is greater than 0 the moment k becomes 0 this while loop will terminate so this is what the string builder contains as of now with a space here and index is now 4 and we terminate the while loop. As you can see we have the result inside the string builder but we have to return a string. So we have to convert the string builder into a string using the two string method. So we convert the string builder into a string. So now the string contains this string with a space at the end. But as you can see in the result you shouldn't be giving a space. If you directly return it without trimming the string, you'll get a wrong output because you have a white space at the end which you have appended in the last iteration in the while loop. So to remove the last white space, use the trim method on the string after converting it from a string builder. So now the output will contain this without a white space at the end and that is the required output so you can return it. So let's code it up. I hope you made a note of the steps because we are directly implementing the steps into code line by line. So let's start off with the first step of finding the length of the string. The second step is to create a words array by using the split method on the input string s. So wherever there is a space inside the input string s it will be splitted and added into the words array. Now we have to declare a string builder which will store the result. Now the next step is to create an integer variable called index which will be initially pointing at 0 so initialize it with 0. Now let's open the while loop. 
and this while loop will run until k becomes 0. So k is not equal to 0. Initially k for this example starts with 4 and until it becomes 0 you have to run the while loop. Now inside the while loop as I mentioned let us append the word at the index position. So words of index and also append a white space. The next step is to increment the index for accessing the next word in the words array and now we have to decrement k for the next iteration. So k starts with 4 for the next iteration it will become 3 and so on until it becomes 0 this will happen. Now that we have the result inside the string builder after the while loop is terminated let us convert it into a string so sp.toString and also I have mentioned that you have to remove the last space which can be done by using the trim method and you can return this as the output. So let's try to run the code. There you have it, our solution has been accepted. As you can see, we are getting the expected output. Let's try for all the test cases. All the test cases are running. Now let's try to submit the code. There you have it, our solution has been accepted. The time complexity of this approach is O of k, where k is the integer given to us because this will iterate for k number of times. As k is a constant, I think you can mention it as O of 1. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. The space complexity is O of n because you're using an array to store the words present inside the input string. So that's it guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, no, 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 baby, smoke so much, don't be some vice.